So now you are coming in with the Ten of Swords. So it's a good thing that Nine of Cups is sitting there. Being the Ten of Swords, to me, you know, when you look at the image of the card, it looks like somebody has stabbed this person in the back and they're like running away now. But the Ten of Swords is an ending. The pain is over with here. Whatever you were dealing with is done. Now it's time to get up and to move forward. And, you know, again, when you hit rock bottom, there is nowhere to go but up. But you have to accept, accept the ending of painful situations and know that the pain is over. It's done. You're being released from it. And what is crossing you is the Five of Pentacles. Now, it's, an under, it's understanding seeing that being what's crossing you with the Ten of Swords. Because that's definitely a feeling that you want to have over with. So the Five of Pentacles is like loss. It's... Poverty, financial loss, feeling like you're being left out in the cold, feeling like you're being rejected by others. So, you know, and I love this deck because it says with this card that there is a light at the end of the tunnel here, which is the same for the Ten of Swords as well. So, you know, there's definitely this feeling here where this painful situation needs to be over with. So you're not feeling rejected and left out. You know, and again, the message there is that you're not alone in this situation. You aren't the only one. But again, there's an ending here happening of these painful situations. So now your conscious mind is focused on the devil. So, you know, seeing that with the Ten of Swords to me is saying that you have to release yourself from the things that are no good for you. You know, We do that because we feel like, you know, these people or these situations are bringing us fulfillment and truly they're not. And the beauty there, again, is that you have the power to release yourself from the things that are harming you. But you you have to want to do that. And, and clearly with the Ten of Swords there, something needs to be done with. And, you know, seeing that to me in what you're focused on is you're focused on releasing yourself from being chained to things that are no good for you. You know, you know, it's no good. But again, there's like this acceptance that needs to be made here that you're done with this. It's over with. And the subconscious mind, my goodness. <clears throat> the five of cups again here, not all is lost. Now you're bringing emotional backing to the feelings that are going on here. This feeling of being left out, being left out in the cold, and then feeling pinned down by your situation and chaining yourself to things that are no good for you. And then the subconscious mind is like, you know, hey, we need to take our focus off of what is lost here. My goodness, Gemini. I'm so glad that the Nine of Cups is what is shining over this. March, you guys aren't the only one. I'll tell you that right now. The readings that I've been doing have been coming out really harsh for the month. It's like there are a lot of difficulties that need to be overcome for sure. You need to release yourself from the things that are just shitty. They're no good for you. You need to be done with this, you know, and again... Once you hit rock bottom, there's nowhere to go but up. And that's the clear message between these two. And again, with the Five of Cups, not all is lost here. For the subconscious mind to be focused on that feeling, that emotional suffering is no good. It's no good. And in the past, the Queen of Pentacles. Now, you know, I worry seeing this because... When you look at the Queen of Pentacles, I mean, you know, this deck isn't meant to be read with reversals, but when I look at her surround, what, and with what is surrounding her, I feel like, you know, this may be the person that is making you feel like you're being left out. And there's some emotional hurt that's backing that. But for some reason, you're, you're chained to this situation with this person. Now, this can represent an earth sign. And the Queen of Pentacles on the negative side you know, this is somebody who is, 
not supportive whatsoever. Now, typically the, the queen of pentacles, when you knock on her door, she's like, Hey, come in, you know, let's eat tell me your problems. Let me help you, whatever. Not with what's surrounding her, you know? It almost feels like this is somebody that's more interested in causing you pain than being supportive. It's almost like they're turning you away in your time of need. Your next move, the Knight of Wands, I, and I like it. I like seeing that because to me this is saying that it's time to move on. So the Knight of Wands here is saying it's time to stop making plans and start taking action. It's time to move. It's time to start following your passions and seeking new adventures. There may be some dragons at the end of those adventures, but at least you're, you know, headed somewhere different than this here. And, and that seems to be like the consistent theme for a lot of the readings is getting away from the shit that's hurting you. And with the queen being where she is, you know, I hate seeing the queen of pentacles in the negative, but man... This person may be responsible for what you're feeling right now. Feeling left out, having this emotional suffering, chaining yourself to situations that are no good, needing to accept the end of pain, needing the cycle to be over with, with this person is what I feel like. And with the Knight of Wands being your next move and then seeing that with the Nine of Cups, I feel like once you start seeking new adventures and charting your own course and taking your own path, you will start to have that feeling of emotional fulfillment. But again, the conscious mind is telling you, you have to release yourself. You have to release yourself from people and situations that are no good for you. The way you see yourself and the way others see you. Heartbreak and betrayal. This being what is being projected out in the way that you're presenting yourself and the way that people see you. It's like people are seeing the suffering that you're going through right now. It's like not hidden. It's known. And this is what you're putting out. You know, and the worry here is that if this is what you're projecting out, then what are you receiving back? But again, it all points back to this person here being the past coming through. It's like, man, I really feel like this person may have hurt you in a really bad way. I mean, the, these two fives alone is, is bad enough, but then seeing the ten and the devil. Phew. And it makes sense. It does. It makes sense that that's what's being projected out right now in the way that people are seeing you. Heartbroken. Dealing with emotional suffering. Oh, I'm so glad that Nine of Cups is there and that Knight of Wands because what you have going on is just rough. It's rough. But again, you know, with the devil, you have the power to release yourself from that. And I feel like with the Knight of Wands, it's exactly what you do. In your environment, the Queen of Swords. Now, this is definitely you. This is definitely you. This is the feeling that will be surrounding you. The Queen of Swords, I, I love her because strong and independent. And this is somebody who's been through some suffering. She understands life through those experiences. So to see that in your environment is fantastic. I feel like you take a better stance. Even though these are the things that you may have to go through and experience involving this person here where you come out in your environment and the energy that starts to surround you is perfect. It's perfect for you. And that's definitely the feeling that you need to be in. Strong and independent, open, but ready to kick some ass when you need to. Being clear in thought. And it's good to see. Your hopes and your fears, the seven of wands, and I see this as a hope. I see, I see this as you saying, bring it, bring it on. You're not taking any more shit. You are done and you're letting people know exactly where you stand. You're using your voice. And with the Queen of Swords, you are using your intellect. And you are letting people know, I have had enough of this shit. I am done. And seeing that there is perfect. Because again, with, you know, the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Wands, it's like you change the situation around. It's something that you may be dealing with or have to deal with involving this person. But things start to change really quickly. Really quickly. That's good. It's good, good. 
And man, you know, you guys aren't the only ones. There's been a lot of strife going on. March is not going to be an easy month for a lot of people. But the good news is, is that what comes out is so much better than what you have experienced. And the outcome, the Page of Wands, perfect, perfect. This to me, again, is saying that you may be afraid of walking the new path, but you're definitely going to do it. And you have the passion and the drive to follow your passions rather than be pinned down by situations that are going to hold you back. I love it. I love seeing that. And I love seeing that with the Knight of Wands because, again, it's you. It's you being adventurous and seeking a new path in your life and following your passions, seeking new adventures. It's beautiful. I love it. And you're not taking any shit. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And you're being wise and you're being smart about it. I've been through some shit, but man, I'm not a fool. I love it. So where I feel like you're going to be dealing with some shit involving a person who may be an earth sign, things are going to start to change for you really quickly. You may have to experience some hard things here, but you turn it around in a beautiful way, a beautiful way. I'm going to pull a clarifier for that page of wands. The Ace of Cups. Look at that shit. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, and it's understandable with the Page of Wands that there may be a little bit of fear here taking the new path. You know, lack in life experience, right? But doing it anyway. And then having the Ace of Cups being the reason why is perfect, perfect. With the Aces, don't ever let these opportunities pass you by. The Ace of Cups, again, again, going back to the Nine of Cups, emotional fulfillment, opportunities to have that in your life. It's perfect. It's perfect. You guys are going to be going through some hard stuff. There's going to be a need here to accept the ending of a situation involving what I feel like is an earth sign who's treating you like shit. You need to release yourself from it so that you can follow that page and that knight of wands into a brand new adventure that is going to lead you to some beautiful emotional fulfillment. It's fantastic gossip. And you know, that shows up a lot for you guys. And I notice this because for me, when I see gossip for Gemini, to me, it's almost like, you know what? You screwed me over, but I love you anyway. And that's so the feeling here between gossip and compassion. So when you look at gossip, the whole story there is recognizing the uniqueness of other people, right? But this is also about supporting your own unique self as well. So, you know, the women in the car don't understand this woman's free spirit and they don't until after she passes away. So you have to accept your own uniqueness and the way that you are because you are truly a beautiful person. Have compassion for yourself. Don't worry about what other people think about you because again, very much Gemini. You know what? You screwed me over, but I love you anyway. I love this reading, Gemini. I really feel like you really whip some shit together quick. And where you end up is absolutely beautiful. All right, Gemini. So now looking at gossip and looking at the Queen of Pentacles, you know, gossip also talks about losing relationships. I feel like maybe there might be somebody around you that doesn't really truly appreciate you for who you are because... I feel like seeing that as the past coming through, what's happening here is that they're causing you some serious problems. Feeling left out, it's causing emotional pain and suffering. And then on top of that, it's like you're chaining yourself to the situation, but the Ten of Swords is saying that this is done. This is done with. This is the end of pain. The cycle with this person is now over. This is time for you to go on a different path. And I love that this is what came out with the page and the Ace of Cups. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. This is exactly what you need to have in your life after dealing with this shit. Yes. And it makes sense with the Nine of Cups being the overall energy. Having that wish fulfillment. Having that emotional fulfillment through that Ace of Cups. That's fantastic. I love seeing that. But remember here, you know what you're chaining yourself to. You have to let go of it. So that you can chart a new course for yourself and you're not projecting this feeling of the Three of Swords. 
because it's like not hidden. Everybody knows. It's like everybody around you knows what you're going through and what your suffering is. And what you do out of that is fantastic. Between these two, I really feel like this is you. Strong and independent. And I'm not taking any more shit. I am done with this. I have clarity of thought. I am taking a different path now. And when you do that, where it takes you, again, it's like, you know, there may be some dragons at the end of your journey, but it's going to be fantastic because with the emotional fulfillment you pulled out of this is beautiful and compassion. You guys are famous for this. And I love the way that these two showed up together for you. Gossip seems to be a continuous thing for you guys, right? You're so unique. And you have this amazing ability to go, you know what? You screwed me over, but I love you anyway. And that is a beautiful energy to have because, you know, that love and that compassion that you send out for people who treat you like shit is good because you get that right back to you, that love and that compassion. So no matter what this person may be putting you through, you come out of this beautifully. And I feel like March is going to lead you to some really beautiful opportunities.